Hey guys, I'm super red right now because I just finished filming, uh, literally just off the camera and I thought why don't I vlog today? Although today is not gonna be anything special, it's gonna be another homey vlog. But it seems to me that you guys love these homey vlogs the most. But today's plan, I'm actually, as I said, just finished filming, it was um, for bourgeois lipsticks ad. So I filmed a whole YouTube video on these lipsticks and um, I actually had to film a little video campaign for them uh, for my Instagram and it was so much fun doing it. I actually had to refilm because the first time I did it I did like a lip sync style where I sang Cindy Lauper's uh, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun and I absolutely loved the outcome but unfortunately due to copyright reasons um, Instagram had to take it down. So basically um, I bought a copyright free song, um, I refilmed today and um, I think it will turn out pretty good. I'll have to edit it today. But yeah, these are all of the lipsticks and I'm wearing one of the shades right now. It's this one. It's called Cinderella. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk anymore about these lipsticks because I already <laughs> advertise them too much. Um, but yeah, oh my outfit, absolutely love it. It was just for one of the little shots. Um, so the top is from Keepsake and I think the skirt as well. Still have the tags on. Um, yeah, they're both from Keepsake, which is an Australian brand. I'm not sure if they're still available because I got them months and months ago. It's not a new collection anymore, but like, look how beautiful this top is. And this is the skirt. I love it as well. I'm super pale now, by the way. I actually posted some pictures on my Instagram wearing this ensemble. It's actually not a set, but the colors, yeah, it just goes together so well. I'm gonna have my Instagram down below in the info bar, so check out the pictures if you wanna see this outfit. And I thought I would show you, do like a little haul and show you guys some other pieces from the new collection of some Australian labels that I absolutely love. Um, I only have one keepsake piece and it's this beautiful top. It's made of this satiny material. I love the sleeves. They have a bit of action going on and uh, they just fall beautifully. And I love the color combination, this like blush pink and orange flowers. Obviously it's summer in Australia now, so everything in their nearest collections is like super summery. But yeah, I cannot wait for spring and summer to wear this. Then um, Cameo Collective is another Australian brand that I really like. And I have this top from them, which is so stunning as well. These pieces were sent to me because I work with them like every few months. I get to choose some items from their newest collections. So yeah, but the shipping is super fast. They ship to Lutania. However, um, you will need to declare um, your parcel to the customs. Probably doesn't do it any justice just showing it like that, but when you have it on, it's just like, it's taken in um, on the waist and it's just like a very feminine silhouette. It's such a chic top. It really reminds me of self-portrait. And by the way, everything is size small. Then another piece from Cameo Collective. I absolutely adore this dress, so look out for their new collection. It's this little white dress. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I actually posted an Insta stories wearing it. This is all I really wear in the summers. And I love this like roughly um, chest area. Yeah, it's just, it's so stunning. And the sleeves are exactly like on this top. They're just, um, yeah, like sort of off the shoulder, but not really. Um, it's so flattering. The last thing I want to show you is from a brand called The Fifth Label. This peachy beige uh, suit. So you have the blazer. It looks like this. It's just a very simple blazer, no buttons. And then these are the trousers. They have pockets and they're sort of like collage trousers. They're not full length, but I love this peachy nude sort of yeah i guess it's more of a nude color it's just so pretty and this is the material 
Um, I don't know what material this is, but yeah, it just feels nice and kind of lightweight. And what I love about it is that it doesn't get wrinkly. Well, a tiny bit, but that's not massive. Like you can crinkle it like this and it will not get wrinkly. Yeah, that's my little Australian clothing haul. Oh, I got my nails done this morning. I went for my usual uh, velvet agate color. I had this deep uh, wine color, then I missed my velvet agate, so I went back to it. And it's the prettiest shade. It's like my signature nail color. What else can I show you guys? Um, I got these in the mango sale, just, you know, like lounging trousers to wear around the house. And I really like them. They're like ribbed and they're so, so soft. So yeah, they're like wide trousers um, and they have pockets even, which is super cool. So yeah, it's just something very cozy. Oh, actually, I went to some charity shops, uh, to Homana. Um, a couple of days ago and I got some insane bits that I really want to show you guys. So wait a sec. Okay guys, let me show you what I got. Um, actually, I went in knowing exactly what I'm looking for. My advice when going thrift shopping, always know what you're looking for. Get some inspiration on Instagram, Pinterest, just google some images of a celebrity or influencer, anyone that a blogger, anyone that you like. And I'm personally very much inspired by Scandinavian girls at the moment. I feel like right now they dress um, like friends characters. Like that's the style that's come back. So like very oversized men's blazers, um, some shoulder pads, skinny like granny. Um, sunglasses, scrunchies, black uh, sort of tailored trousers that flare a little bit, square toe uh, shoes, turtlenecks. I see that style so much in Scandi Girls and I absolutely adore it. There's a lot of Rachel and Monica inspiration going on. Um, so yeah, as I said, I knew exactly what I'm looking for and I found amazing <laughs> pieces. So yeah, I, I looked for black Trousers. I think they're straight trousers, right? They don't flare, uh, but they just sit so beautifully. They're low waisted and they have um, these lines and they're actually by Rocco Barocco. Who remembers this brand? It used to be really big, but yeah, just simple black tailored trousers and everything in Humana was two euros. I couldn't believe when I went to the till and the lady said, yeah, it's Two euros so I paid eight euros for everything I got from Humana instead of going shopping to you know fast fashion chains and getting um, 90s inspired pieces just go to thrift shops secondhand shops charity shops whatever you want to call them and get some vintage pieces because they're super cheap and they're very trendy now and no one really cares about them. People get rid of these clothes and accessories, but as they're back in style, um, it's, I think, pretty easy to find. And then I got some silky trousers, which you might think, oh my god, these are disgusting. But honestly, uh, you know, I, I have an idea of how I would style them and they will look amazing. Again, I would go for that sort of Scandi style, like I love uh, Josephine, um, she's an Instagrammer and her style is incredible. So yeah, you can wear these with like black high heel boots and a big blazer or even dogs. I found this pinstripe blazer, um, it's actually not men's, it's a female blazer, but you can find these literally in any uh, thrift shop. So this one fits me. Pretty well it's it's still oversized but as i said i'm going for that look with like these tailored black trousers this blazer and like a turtleneck yeah i just think it's a very chic look then guys piece de resistance i found brand new shoes they're leather they're the most perfect color and they're squared toe boots i know these will be either a hate or love it thing but these shoes are like so on trend at the moment. Like you can find boots like that in Topshop, Mango. They all do square uh, toe shoes now. 
and uh, when I saw these that have never been worn brand new shoes for two euros real leather made in Australia I was like oh my god and in my size the perfect everyday boot oh my god I, yeah I cannot love them more than I do like imagine these black trousers, these boots and like a brown leather coat. These are such a score and it's a perfect heel height for an everyday wear. And as I said, people probably think these are so old fashioned and gross, but since they're back in style, I'm like, yes. And then the last thing I got, this one was 15 euros, so a little more expensive, but it's not from Humana, it's from Gosa, like another thrift shop chain that we have here. And it was actually in the window display on a mannequin and it's a men's um, jacket and I asked the lady to take it off for me. It's so incredible. It's very Ross from Friends. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's like buttery, smooth leather, very high quality. Um, and don't be scared of men's blazers because I think they look incredible on girls. Again, I'm not styling it right, so I'm not doing it any justice, but uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram because there will surely be um, many pictures. So I have a belt, like a thick waist belt that's very similar color to this. So I would put the waist belt on and then wear this blazer with like uh, slightly flared or like these black trousers and some heels like this is such an amazing look I mean I'm all about it this is how long it is on me like imagine it with a belt you just tuck in the waist like so and it just looks super cool and this color is everything I absolutely love it it's almost like the color of the shoes so guys I hope you enjoyed my haul um, I do love thrift shopping because you can find such incredible unique pieces that you know you will not see um, anyone else wearing so yeah I really wanted to show you those pieces now I'm gonna go take my lipstick off and I'm gonna clean I have to clean my apartment because um, my cousin Linda is coming over um, and I think we'll have lots of fun we'll watch um, movies TV series we'll make some food I'll probably show you guys what I cook but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like chicken um, shoulders and Turkish rice. Today I also bought some gnocchi so we might have those as well and uh, yeah I have my laundry going it's like laundry and cleaning day today for me oh, and I also have to edit everything that I filmed today because I need to post it today so that will take I think about an hour although it's like a one minute video but actually the shorter the video the longer it takes this is the aftermath filming lipstick on the mirror by the way I brought this mirror here from my room back home um, just temporarily but as my mom says uh, there's nothing more permanent than temporary things <laughs> So I don't know how long it's gonna stay here. Ideally, I want to get, I think I mentioned that, this um, oak mirror from Oaky Oak, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get that at some point. For now, I'll have this gold mirror here. Um, the carpet that I showed in one of my homeware hauls. I had this white one that I recently got, but I don't know, I just wanted to inject some more color. So I switched it to this, like, um, dusty blue one that I had from summer changed my sheets my silk pillowcases this is my light I actually got this new light bulb and I absolutely love the light that it emits now it's too light for me to demonstrate I'm gonna demonstrate in the evening oh no I think it's fine you can see and the whole room is like yellow orange in the evening I have these spotlights and they you know provide a lot of light so I needed something for coziness this creates that huga feeling in the evening that's Louis scratch post by the way guys something I want to mention do not get that rituals home diffuser I showed you in a previous vlog it's so rubbish it doesn't work the sticks were so long that 
they would dry up like the fragrance would reach halfway through and they would dry so it basically didn't emit any scent at all so what i did i took the sticks and cut them in half and then i uh, poured the home fragrance in three little containers like this so this is just from ikea so some of it i poured into this one and then the rest of the fragrance is in here so this is also from ikea it was a set um and yeah now it smells amazing um uh, it's the only way that i could make it work basically uh, so disappointed in rituals but at the same time it's pretty cool because i have uh three places three rooms that smell amazing out of one big diffuser oh and that's the whitening kit i want to try today in my comfy wear ready to clean the house but first something new from daniel wellington they have these new i love you sets they come in this stunning cherry color box um and they're currently 10 percent off so this is what the set looks like i'm absolutely in love with my new watch this model is called york and i believe this is 36 millimeter you guys always ask me what's the size of my watch so i'm gonna write it down on the screen um, you also get this little heart pin that you can pin on the watch i'm gonna show you in a minute how and then um you also get a rose gold bangle it's just a simple classic um bangle they have these animal bangles as well but this is just like their classic skinny uh rose gold bangle so let me show you how you can put the heart on so you just take the little pin and push it through the hole like this super simple i just think it's such a sweet little touch especially for someone you love but yeah i adore this bracelet it's like a dark brown color and it's very vintage looking voila that's my new watch the little heart i think it will go very well with my style and everything in my wardrobe at the moment if you want to get an extra 15 percent off you can just use my coupon code chanelette times daniel wellington so you'll get 10 percent off um on the set and plus an extra 15 percent off and i forgot to mention and i don't know if you can see but this little heart actually has a word love engraved on it look who's here nah. she nah. doesn't want to be on camera anyway uh the electricity was gone for like 10 minutes just before she came i'm cooking the rice I'm gonna pop the chicken into the oven so the video is finished i uploaded it on instagram already oh, and <laughs> she likes i love it as well i'm so proud of it yeah anyway you can see it on my instagram so we're having romantic dinner for two <laughs> and uh we will watch the second episode of the haunting of the hill house this is our self-made coffee table <laughs> yeah this is basically how loud my washing machine is it's like a tornado i said i'll show you guys the light in the evening so here it is so guys i'm in my bathroom now um and linda actually left a couple hours ago because she decided to sleep back at home we watched the haunting of the hill house uh, we watched a couple episodes of scrubs and also seinfeld because um, i wanted her to see uh, some older tv shows i actually saw only a few episodes of scrubs and seinfeld but i want to get into them and um yeah tonight i'm gonna finish watching sex education which is a new tv show i think it's amazing it's yeah the characters are so interesting and so well-rounded um the storyline is great the idea is great and there are so many good topics covered so yeah i love sex education and it's only eight episodes so i have 45 minutes left of the episode eight and then i'm also halfway through sharp objects which um i'm still unsure about it's very dark and creepy and um slow and kind of difficult to watch because 
I don't know, you cannot relate to any of the characters, so it's... I'm not, I'm not too sure about sharp objects. I loved Gone Girl. I've read the book, I watched the movie, and it's the same author. Why I'm here in my bathroom is because I want to try the High Smile uh, Teeth Whitening Kit. I'm not sponsored, I'm not asked to film this. Simply curious because I've never whitened my teeth ever, um, and my teeth aren't the whitest. So you have these syringes with uh, teeth whitening stuff in it and then you have this LED light and then this sort of retainer instruction manual here. It's super simple. You have a little chart with like teeth colors. So mm, I think the light is pretty bad here. I mean, it's night. It's half past midnight. <laughs> um, should be sleeping, but I'm not. Um, and I don't know if it's a good idea to do it at night. Maybe we should do it tomorrow morning. And so I think my teeth are somewhere between three and four. I want to say number three. Mm. Not one. Maybe two or three. Mm. Okay, what you have to do is brush your teeth with the toothpaste. So I have this high smile toothpaste, nighttime one and daytime one. Which one shall I use? Nighttime one is actually black. So I'm just gonna use the nighttime one. Oh, I'm also interested. What do you guys do first? Do you apply toothpaste and then um, wet your brush or do you wet your brush first and then apply toothpaste? I always wet my brush and then apply toothpaste. Mm. Okay. Okay, so now that I've brushed my teeth, I'm gonna take one of these syringes. So it says that now you have to apply one fourth of this solution. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The light switches off automatically after 10 minutes. So let's see. Well, actually, I do see some oh, white dots, like white marks on this tooth but that's strange there are like little white dots and here as well there's no difference besides that besides these little marks so i'm gonna keep doing it um it says that you have to do it every day so i'm gonna use up this syringe in three more days then i have two more so maybe then I'll see some results. And I'm worried about these marks. Will they go away? Should I keep using it? I don't know. So yeah, that's my little high smile experiment. And now you're not supposed to have any coffee or like wine or tea, like dark liquids. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this super random vlog slash haul slash first impressions video. But I hope you liked it anyway. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.